Uh, well, in the business world, a lot now, you know, PowerPoint is really popular, and it's been popular for a long time. And a lot of times when you're preparing your speech, you know, you're putting together slides or some kind of a presentation. And, and I do that, too. Uh, my advice is fewer slides. Um, because if you have a lot of slides, then all of a sudden you're distracted and you're not speaking, you're ripping through slides. And certainly you don't need to read what's on the slides, which is another common mistake that people have. Um, what I always tell people is the slide is a picture and you want to be able to describe the picture. You don't want to tell them what the picture looks like in terms of there's a man and he's standing. You know, you want to say, <coughs> you know, this is a typical uh, kind of, this is, this is the definition of our customer. Mm -hmm. You know, we appeal to males, they're 30 to 35, mm -hmm. they have this kind of demographic and they love these kinds of sports mm -hmm. and they're generally married and have two kids, right? So you're trying to, you know, don't tell me that there's a guy on the slide, you know, tell me the demographic of our, of our customer looks like this. And you're, you're telling me a whole lot more than what I'm going to get out of that picture because you're telling me what he likes and he's got two kids and blah, blah, blah. And, um, and some people will put the picture up there and then they'll put all the words there on the slide. Mm -hmm. And you don't need to do that. You already know what you're going to say about the picture, so don't put it on the slide. Mm -hmm. Just say it. So in other words, another thing, one part of what you're doing is you're, you're sharing the significance, not just the content, but the meaning. Yes. I mean, I think a lot of things like, you know, a lot of people get into graphs. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times the whole point of a graph is just the direction. Is it going up or is it going down? And, you know, you can, you can create a slide that has a tremendous amount of information in it with X's and Y's and cross points and mm -hmm. colors and shading and, you know, get a whole, um, lots of dots around it and, and, and uh, graph, you know, all that statistical kind of information. Well, really, what are you trying to say with the slide? And maybe all you really need is just a slide that has an arrow pointing up mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to be the exact information. So you would strive toward conciseness and simplicity? Yeah, make it easy, make it simple um, would be certainly my style. Um, I think it's called scatter graphs. Are you familiar mm -hmm. with that? Mm -hmm. You know, a scatter graph is just something that sits there on the, really on the margin. And you really, you know, you'd have to get out really kind of like powerful glasses to really see it. But the point is you just see the directional. And uh, so I use that kind of approach when uh, using presentation material.